Hey Raiders, welcome back to Raider Weekly. I'm Austin Safley. I'm joined here with this semester with a new cast member. Uh, hi, I'm Caden Brown. It's nice to be a part of this crew. Um, I haven't had you in any real classes, uh, but I have spent a little bit of time outside of school with you. Yeah, we did theater together. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, tell us about your hair. Oh, my hair. Um, it got this way after around 5th or 6th grade, whenever I decided to finally start growing it out. Around seventh grade ish is about when I decided to shave down the sides and decided to start regrowing them out. It looks good. It looks good. Thank you. Maybe I should try something like that. Well, I guess we'll cover nice. what we're doing this week. Uh, we'll have a book club uh, review with Carson. Uh, we'll be having an interview with Mrs. Oddly with Katie Fry. We'll have sports with Clay and Brody. And we'll have whatever randomness Brianna Green will be doing. Now on to those segments. Hello Raiders, this is Raider Weekly with Sports. And welcome back, Jack. I thought you were on quarantine. <gasps> no, no, I'm back, Jack. Not through a computer screen anymore, baby. This is Sports with Brody O'Malley and Clay Jameson. Clay, take it away. For wrestling, this Saturday, the varsity goes to Marshfield, and that starts at 9. And then JV goes to Seneca, which starts at 9.30. Marshfield, Missouri, that is. I don't know where that's at. But Springfield. It's somewhere. All right. Basketball. This upcoming Tuesday, basketball, the boys' basketball team and girls' basketball team will take on Baxter Springs at home. Should be a good one. Tune in online, ladies and gentlemen, because you can't come to the 28th. And that has been sports with me and Clay. We now have an interview with a special guest star, Jay Fudge. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sports with me and Clay Jameson. Howdy. We have a special guest today here with me. Jordan Fudge. Yes, sir. And we're going to ask him some questions today. Clay. All right, our first question. What game are you looking forward to the most this season? I'm looking forward to the last game, sub-state game, against whatever team is wanting to play against us. Or, yeah, yeah. We don't win it, though. All right, I like the confidence. I like it. Uh, Jordan, uh, uh, the people want to know what position do you play? I play the five position. It's called center. Yes, sir. Yeah. He does he did, plays that position very well. Great rebounder. Yes, All right, the next question we have: Do you have any game day rituals? I have a lot of game day rituals actually. First, I gotta go home. You know, we gotta score at three ten. You know, I'll go home, get a little nap in. You know, get up like 30 minutes after, get an apple, granola bar, you know, listen to some music. Yeah, I go to school, watch the girls play. That's about it. I like it, I like it. All right, Jay, so um, our team has a tradition of eating before, uh, the day before the game. Jay, what is your favorite place to eat? Where is your favorite place to eat? Mm, that's a good question, actually. My favorite place is probably Mazio's. Can't get enough pizza. Cheese yeah. pizza, though. Ooh. Yeah. Cheese pizza? Yeah, cheese pizza. Yeah. No pepperoni. Pepperoni and sausage. sausage is where it's at. Cheese. You gotta get protein. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, Jordan Fudge doesn't like pepperoni pizza <laughs> or sausage, so now you guys all know. Hey Raiders, welcome to my segment of Raider Weekly. Um, so this week, I'm quarantined, and so I'm not at school, so I can't do my intro like I usually do. And seeing as last week was Christmas break, I think I'm going to show you guys what I did over my break. Okay, so over break, I just recently started uh, building keyboards. And I got all this stuff for a keyboard um, for Christmas, and I put it together, and it's like fully custom. Here, let me show you guys. This is the keyboard I built over Christmas break. It is a 60% keyboard, which basically means it's just smaller than a normal keyboard, and it has us keys. Uh, it has these really cool key halves on it, which when you plug it in, the lights shine through really cool on the bottom of these like white parts. It is Bluetooth and it's for Mac and Windows, so I can use it on my Windows PC, like when I'm gaming at home, or I can use it for work on my laptop for school. And it's got these really cool switches in them. These are the switches that are inside my keyboard. They're uh, black and they're very smooth to press and they provide a really good typing experience. And they're clear on the top so that when, you're, uh, when the lights are on the keyboard, like they can shine through really easily. So I keep telling you guys about how this keyboard lights up, and I really want to show you guys. So basically when you plug it in, it does that, and then it has my 
lighting default. It has this key up in the corner, which you can change the lights with. And I just think it looks really cool. So that's all for my segment of Raider Weekly. I hope you guys enjoyed. On to the next segment. Howdy Raiders, and welcome back once again to Raider Weekly's Book Club. As always, I'm Carson Westoff, and this week's fine book of fiction is none other than Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I honestly wanted to avoid doing this one because it's such an obvious pick for someone like me, but it was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. So let's hear the blurb. Harry Potter has never played a sport while flying on a broomstick. He's never worn a cloak of invisibility, befriended a giant, or helped hatch a dragon. All Harry knows is a miserable life at, with his horrible aunt and uncle, the Dursleys, with their awful son, Dudley. Harry has been mistreated for 11 years, but all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Al Messenger, an invitation to a wonderful place he never dreamed existed. There he finds not only air, friends, aerial sports, and magic around every corner, but a great destiny that's been waiting for him, if Harry can survive the encounter. This book has been one of my favorite books for years, and the imagery is unmatched. If you find yourself enjoying the movies, you will undoubtedly enjoy the books ten times more. Some of our quotes for this book are, It does not do well to dwell on dreams and forget to live. And, To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Our vocab for this week is chortle, to laugh quietly or with restraint, and prefect, a chief officer or chief magistrate. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's book club. Until next time, on to the next segment. Hello Raiders and welcome back to another interview segment. Today I am interviewing Miss Audley. Um, so Miss Audley. Yes. So how does it feel to be back in Frontenac and be back in the school? I'm so excited to be back here. Um, it's great to see all the students um, and the teachers and the staff. Um, I was getting a little lonely at home, so I was glad that I have this opportunity. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Do you miss your your old job that you had here? Or? I I loved teaching. I taught for 38 years, and this was a really hard year at the beginning when I didn't have a classroom to go to. But um, but I slowly am adjusting and. Uh, it's kind of nice not to have to yell at kids to take their hoods down or to, you know, that kind of stuff. So, not that I ever yelled at anyone. Um, but, yeah, I miss it, but I'm just glad that I get to see people now. That's good. Well, yeah. thank you for your time. And that's it for this week's interview segment. So, have a good one. I have a fever. I'm very tired. And I'm kind of sick of politics at the moment. So today's news is gonna be very quick bite, very serious, I don't have many jokes for you today. I apologize, um, but let's just get started. We all know what I'm gonna talk about. The overrunning of Capitol Hill by MAGA rioters. So far, there have been 83 people arrested, four dead, and 50 police officers injured, along with a police officer killed um, during these riots. The fact that uh, rioters were able to just sort of bust their way into the building has been considered a pretty big breach of security, a pretty big failure on the police's part um, by most experts. Rioters stormed the building to protest the uh, inauguration of Joe Biden as the solid president-elect, soon to be president. Since then, in a video speaking about the violence, Trump has acknowledged that he lost and will be shifting power on the 20th. It's kind of crazy that we're living in a time that ki our kids will probably read about, uh, this specific moment included, since it, um, it kind of encapsulates everything that's coming to a head at the end of this year. They did take some pretty cool pictures, though. I'll, I'll give them that. Some of these pictures were really good. Illegal, but, but good. Um, I could see them being album, album covers eventually. Um, anyways, that's all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and on to the next segment. Well, we had some really interesting segments this week on Raider Weekly. Yeah, we had a book club with Carson. We had the interview with Mrs. Oddly with Katie Fry. We got sports with Clay Jamison and Brogy with their special guest, Jordan Fudge. That was pretty interesting. And then we had Brianna Green with her segment. Always good. Always. Yeah. All right. Hope you all stay safe and healthy. 
and we hope you have a wonderful semester. Alright, so Mrs. Aaron wanted me to ask these three questions for Jordan, since they're the, uh, probably the most three questions that Jordan's been asked ever in his life, and he gets asked them probably every day, one of the three. Uh, Jordan, what size shoe do you wear? Or a size 20, or 19, or 21. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, I fit all of them. They all fit the same. Uh, what's up with your hair? You know, my hair, I've been growing it out since freshman year, since I moved here. Stay tuned for 2022, because I won't have this on my hair no more. And, uh, Jordan, how tall are you? I'm about 6'8". Everyone says I'm 6'9". It changes every day, pretty much. I have hair, 6'9". 6'9". We, we, we say he's 6'9". Intimidation factor. Yeah. <laughs> Alright.